President Buhari of Nigeria, Vice President Yemi Sibanjo, and the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Emefile, have been lined up to speak at the 15th Annual Banking and Finance Conference of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. Uh, speaking ahead of the conference, the Managing Director of uh, Sterling Bank, Mr. Abubakar Suleiman, who is the Chair of the Consultative Committee, said the conference is slated to hold this September and uh, it will provide a veritable platform for subject matter experts and industry stakeholders to drive conversations and unanimously design a clear roadmap towards repositioning the financial services industry for growth and stability. Joining us from our Abuja studio to discuss further is Dr. Ken Okpara, who is the President and Chair of the Council of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, so uh, can you tell us more on how and you know why Nigeria's banking and financial sector needs to be repositioned and what the repositioning will look like, which is the main theme at this uh, conference? Thank you very much. Um, just to say that um, the Anna Banking and Finance um, Conference is um, a major event and is the biggest gathering, business conference gathering in Africa. It is going to have over 10,000 people in attendance, attending either physically or virtually. Um, the theme of um, this year's uh, conference is very apt, uh, repositioning the financial services sector for an evolving global context. Um, it's um, in realization of the changes in the global um, sphere, um, the disruption that is holding, the fintech space, the uh, payment system, the total changes and disruption that is also happening. And also the fact that um, we need to also be sensitive to what is happening at the local front as much as possible talking about the attrition level and as far as um, the local um, changes that is also happening, um, sustainability and as much as climate change as, you know, basically. So we'll be looking at a whole lot of all this. Thank you. Uh, okay, great. Is, is there a, you know, time frame for when this repositioning will take place? And I guess what it means for job creation and innovation in the banking and financial services sector. Yeah, I, I think the way to look at it is that um, we are, when we say repositioning, it's also the realization of the fact that these changes keep coming. Um, like I said, you've seen what is happening in the fintech space. You've seen what is happening in the payment system. Let me say upfront that Nigeria remains one of the institutions where the banks have provided an online return services in terms of the payment system. So what it means essentially is for us to also share experience, have industry experts both globally and also at the continental fair and as much as the local front to be able to share this. Uh, but more importantly is that at the end of them, this conference, we are going to collect this and consolidate it and provide it to policymakers, industry experts as much as possible, and also the practitioners to be able to then begin to implement what has been um, actually discussed at this. And as much as possible, you know, deliberation that is coming out of this place would also help to, you know, ensure that the industry remain very compliant, remain very sensitive as much as possible. Um, one of the good things also you would um, also be seeing from this conference, which is very useful, is a very research work that was just done, essentially talking about the attrition level of um, the young people, you know, out of um, this country. As much as possible, that study will be able to share the findings and, of course, um, you know, um, also give uh, insight on what, how prepared the industry and the economy as a whole will be able to deal with that. Excellent. Um, there's a fusion of the word glocal. I think I don't know if it's a portmanteau or, or in the theme. Can you explain what that means? Uh, so it's a deliberate, um, you know, choice that was made, uh, basically taking into consideration that the world is a global village. We are looking at what is happening at the global um, space. We've seen what has happened at the supply chain disruption. We've seen what has also happened at the Ukraine-Russian, how it has distorted the supply 
of um, raw materials and um, products and even technology along the sphere. So we need to, as much as possible, you know, understand how those changes have been happening and also how disruption is happening, how technology is changing the space. And so you will see how, you know, payment system, how do we harmonize this? How do we ensure that it's also situated with what is happening at the global sphere? Then also blending it with what is happening at the local environment. This is very unique because you wouldn't be talking about the global environment without looking at the local flavor. How do we also activate and support the local industry and also as much as possible what you'll be hearing, talking about the health sector, which is also in our own unique environment. How do we support that? as much as possible. And also, how do we ensure that a, 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 the workforce um, transformation, as it relates to the younger ones, how do we ensure that we incentivize them, we also, as much as possible, get them in such a manner that they would have faith in our system, as much as possible, achieve their career so that's why we've used that word GLOCA. It's taking a global perspective, but also looking at the local um, you know, flavor that is associated with it. All right. And uh, I guess for the first time, the uh, conference in conference planning, the first time in conference planning, the CIBN is going to be having about 54 uh, experienced resource persons for the various sessions. You also mentioned about you know, 10,000 people between physical and virtual but as far as those ex experts that you're bringing in you know why so many and can you fit all of them in for a two-day event exactly we, we're going to do that we, we we've planned a program to accommodate them um, these uh, four speakers and they have all um, accepted to physically present uh, you know ex share their experience and be available you know to provide this insight the number, of course, are large to also show the diversity and the areas that are very, very critical as an economy that is the largest in Africa. We need to be able to stretch and as much as possible look at the key areas. And we want to have industry experts, key thought process leaders that are in these various areas to be able to converge from tomorrow to speak to these key areas. You are going to, of course, have people in the health sector. You are going to have in the payment services system. You are also going to have in the you know, manufacturing sector as much as possible. Um, you know, critical to this is the fact that these are areas that affect the, you know, the economy of um, our great country as much as possible. And they will be sitting as much as possible to get this. There will be plenary session. Of course, the teams have been you know, well planned and in such a manner that if there are programs that are lined up so that um, while the plenary session is holding on, it will um, hold in, um, in parallel with some other sessions that are also related as much as possible. Most importantly is also the area about talking about sustainable banking, climate change. These are areas that impact, you know, the economy, the country, and of course, the global sector as much as possible. We need to be relevant with, you know, talking about responsible banking. These are areas we think that we need to give, you know, um, a lot of attention and pay, you know, uh, make sure that our people, you know, give consideration as much as possible to that. So that's why you have these arrays of people. And then, of course, as much as possible, we hope that um, they will deliberately cover those um, key Areas. Thank uh, you. All right. You've mentioned youth I get already. I think we understand that about 60% of the physical delegates at the uh, conference are going to be, you know, millennials and, you know, Gen Z as well. But can you talk about the importance of having them there? Yes, this is very important. Um, as a dynamic um, professional body, Chartered Institute of Bankers is saying basically that um, we need to build the next generation of people, the millennia, the Gen Z, which of course also aligned with um, my agenda, of course, which is about rebranding the institute along the Gen Z and the millennia. Of course, over the years, we began to re, you know, rethink that model and be able to ensure that this you know, critical sector of um, our people, uh, the population, is actually integrated in these services. So when we do this program, 
we've deliberately invited them, make, making sure that we um, make all the necessary arrangements, paying for the logistics of bringing them in, so that they would also have opportunity to interact. Um, this evening, of course, we would have a session for them. And we f they feel free, they, you know, because we think that innovation is very important. And, it, you know, of course, it resides in that um, segment of the people. But more importantly, it's not to forget the fact that Nigeria is a youth population. 60% of the population resides in this um, category of people, the, the Gen Z, the millennia. So we think that we must be able to build our services and also incorporate this segment of the people. So they will have fun, they would have opportunity to share their ideas, they will be liberal, we would as much as possible have them to, you know, get it. They are looking forward to this. I can, I mean, as much as possible, a whole lot of people in the social media, as much as possible, are looking forward to this event. It promises to be a very good event for this category of people and other segments. Thank All you. right. Uh, Dr. Ken Okpara is the uh, president and chair of the council at this uh, Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate uh, your time.